Hey everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. I am back with another set review, and this time it is for Panini's flagship baseball product, 2022 Donruss Baseball drops this Friday, and what we want to find out is how good this set really is. Is it one you should buy into? Is it one you should pass on? Well, the best way to find out is to watch the One Cent Sports Cards set guide and review, which starts right now. So this Friday, Panini Donruss Baseball drops for 2022. Like I said, it is their flagship product. And in this set guide and review, what we're trying to do is find out how good it really is. And we do that by using the one cent sensational set rating. Now here's what we'll cover off on in today's set guide and review. Start off with the high level highlights, tell you all about the set give you the different buying formats, go in a little bit deeper, tell you what the key cards in the set that you'll be chasing are. We'll cover off on all the parallels, the inserts, the relics, the autos. And then I'm even going to give you six teams that I would recommend buying into breaks with. So you don't want to miss that. If you want to know how good all of the other teams are for breaks, be sure to check out the break cheat sheet that I will provide, which will tell you how good all 30 baseball teams are for breaks and that's what brings us to the one cent sensational set ranking where we find out how good 2022 Don Russ baseball really is then I will conclude everything by showing you how it ranks with all of the other sets that have been released so far in the 2022 baseball card collecting season but before we begin I've got one more thing be sure to throw over to first hit that like button it is the best way you can support the channel and if you like this content hit that subscribe button so that way you'll be able to see all of the set reviews that come out you want to see them first great hit that bell notification so you get notified as soon as i drop them and if you haven't done so already be sure to check out my patreon page that is the best way to get into my breaks over there you can get free packs you can get monthly break credits all sorts of different things be sure to check it out link in the description below so 2022 donruss baseball here's the set highlights First thing to know, it is the flagship Panini Baseball product. It is always full of nostalgia, and this year has a boatload of parallels. It is a 280-card base set checklist in its 32nd year of production, off and on since 1981. There are 50 rated rookies in the checklist this year, and like I said, lots of parallels. There is a 20-color parallel rainbow a lot of those colors are going to be exclusive to the buying format that you were buying into it is widely available in hobby and retail formats and prospects rookies vets retired stars all going to be featured in this set so all of them are covered and it is a very insert heavy set and there are five new insert sets for this year they're called bomb squad hit list crosstown rivals idols and marvels there are three hits per hobby box. That's going to be a mix of autos and relics. Normally two autos, one relic. And the 1988 Don Russ design is featured heavily throughout the set. They've got them as relics. They've got them as autos. There's a retro checklist. And of course, the ultra popular whammy insert. It's a case hit. It returns again for 2022. Also, the famous San Diego chicken is once again featured in the set. So what are the different buying formats? Well, first we'll cover off on hobby. You can get yourself a hobby case. That's going to have 16 boxes a case, 24 packs per box, 8 cards per pack, 3,072 total cards. Current price on that online going for about $1,950. So your cost per card, 63 cents. What you're guaranteed to get? 32 autos, 16 relics, and 384 hollow blue parallels. 
You can also get a hobby box. That same thing, 24 packs per box, eight cards per pack, 192 total cards. Cost you around 110 to 120 bucks right now. Your cost per card on that gonna be about 51 cents. And you've got two autos, one relic, and 24 hollow blue parallels guaranteed. For the retail formats, we've got the mega box that will come out that should have 14 packs in it, eight cards per pack. So 112 total cards cost you about 50 bucks cost per card at 45 cents. You are guaranteed to get one pink firework auto and 14 hollow pink and pink firework parallels. Then we've got the blaster box that'll have 11 packs, eight cards per pack. So 88 total cards cost on that's going to be 25 bucks. So your cost per card comes all the way down to 28 cents and you will get 11 hollow purple parallels and five rapture parallels. We've got the hanger box, 50 cards in that for a cost of $15 cost per card, about 30 cents. You'll get six hollow orange parallels and two diamond parallels. We've also got fat packs, 30 cards there, cost you about seven bucks. So a low cost per card of 23 cents, you will get one vector parallel and three hollow red parallels. Then we've got gravity packs that you'll find all over the place. You've got five cards per pack and five total cards cost you about two bucks, 40 cents per card. You do get a yellow parallel in there and there probably will be additional formats that you find at different retail outlets. So what are the key cards we're gonna be looking for in Donruss this year? First, let's cover the rookies. We've got uber popular Wander Franco, Vidal Bruhan, Jaron Duran, Brandon Marsh, Reed Detmers, Josh Lowe, Seth Beer, Tyler Meagle, Jose Siri, Shane Baz, and O'Neal Cruz. A few more rookies that you could include in there, but those are gonna be some of our key ones. For our parallels, autos, inserts, relics, all of that stuff, obviously the rated rookie cards, the iconic rated rookie logo, those are always sought after cards in the set. And as has been true for about the last three years now, the emoji parallels return. We've got a few of them. We've got the 100 emoji, the on fire, America, presidential, voltage, and the number one emoji. Then we've got a variation checklist. That's going to be nickname variations, stat line variations, stuff like that. And new for this year, we've got the monikers autos. Should be very sought after ones right there. And some buyback autos, which is also new for 2022. We've got the recollection autos subset. And the ones that will be hitting most, the retro 1988 autos are included. And we've got the superstar scribbles. You can see what that looks like over there on the right with the Luis Robert. That will be a new one for 2022 as well. Of course, the famous San Diego chicken, always fun cards to pull. And the retro 1988 relics. Those are the only relics basically that you can find in this set. And a new insert, the Bomb Squad insert. We'll show you that card and what that looks like here in a little bit. And the Crosstown Rivals inserts. We also have some prospect inserts in here. So we've got the rated prospect logo. Those tend to carry some weight with them. So we'll include those in on our key cards. And of course, the case hit, the whammy inserts. For our base parallels, like I said, we have a huge rainbow. So let's start at the top. We've got the base set variations. That's the image and name, nickname variations. A career stat line that has varied print runs based upon the number of the stat. Same thing with the season stat line. We have the blue hollow, the independence day, the liberty, the orange hollow, the pink hollow, the purple hollow, the red hollow, the yellow, which is found in those gravity packs. Then we've got a bunch of numbered cards. Red to 2022, 100, that's an emoji to 100, the on fire to 75, the America to 50. The presidential collection numbered to 46, voltage to 25, the artist proof to 10, the press proof to five, the number one emoji, that's a one of one, and of course we have printing plates. So here are all the different inserts, a very heavy insert set. We start off with the super cool bomb squad. Check out what that one looks like over there at the right with the Shohei Otani card. There is a parallel breakdown, which will exist throughout all of the inserts. Basically, you've got diamond, pink, fireworks, rapture, vector, silver to 349, blue to 249, red to 149, 
gold to 99, green to 25, and a black one of one. There is the Crosstown Rival. Should be a tough pull right there. Only three cards in the subset. Dominators returns again for 2022 with 12 cards. And Elite Series, also with 12 cards, returns again for 2022. All of those are going to be numbered 999 or less. We also have Idols. That is going to be a fun one, probably a harder one to hit. Four cards in that insert set. And with inserts, we've got more. There's the Marvels. That's going to have 10 cards in the set, each number to 99 or less. The Rated Prospects, you can see what that looks like on the right with the Jason Dominguez cards. Same parallel breakdown, 12 cards in that set. And our famous San Diego Chicken, obviously one card there. And new for 2022, the Hit List. 12 cards, each number to 99 or less with a parallel breakdown that you can see on screen. And there's even more inserts. We've got Trending, another new one for 2022. 12 cards in that subset, each numbered 999 or less. Then we have Unleashed, a very popular one that has been around for a couple years. 20 cards in that, and they are all numbered to 999 or less. And then, of course, our case hit. The Whammy, 10 cards. You can check out very cool cards to pull, very awesome looking cards. That's the Juan Soto one over there on the right for 2022. So what are our relics? Like I said, there's not a lot of them. We've got the Domingo Ayala material card. That is one that has been in for the last few years. And then we also have the retro 1988 materials, the Ronald Acuna. You can see we're using the 1988 design over there on the right. 97 cards in that checklist i do not know why it says number to 50 there it shouldn't the bases will not be numbered but we do have a parallel breakdown of red gold and black then of course we have the famous san diego chicken material one card in that subset for our autographs we have the classics autographs the mark mcguire that's what the classics will look like nine cards in the subset again no idea why it says one of ones they are not one of ones but uh, sometimes I do copy paste. Sorry about that. We also have the parallel blue to 99, gold to 25 or less, and the black one of one. We have the monikers, 10 cards in that autographed blue, gold, black parallel breakdown. And the buybacks, the recollection autographs, 29 cards. The specifics on what those are are a little fuzzy right now, but some big names. Those are going to be awesome pulls, probably some of the most valuable cards in the set. And the retro 1988 signatures. This is what you'll pull most of, 97 cards in that subset with an interesting parallel breakdown. But just know you've got hollow pink firework, red, gold, black. We have a few more autographs as well. The Signature Series, you can see what that one looks like with the Wander Franco card, a very popular one that returns for 2022. We've got 50 cards in that autograph set with a blue, gold, black parallel rainbow. Then the Superstar Scribbles, 10 cards in that one, same blue, gold, black parallel. And you can even get a famous San Diego Chicken autograph, one card in that autograph set, and they are numbered to 88. So that's what Don Russ is offering us. So a lot of case breaks, probably some cheaper box breaks on this. What teams should you be looking to buy when you're buying into breaks of 2022 Don Russ? Well, like I said, I'm going to give you six teams and we're going to start out with the best team. No surprise here. We've got the Tampa Bay Rays. They've got 10 base cards, four rookie cards, which is the most rookie cards out of a team set within all of the Don Russ larger set. There are three inserts, three relics, and nine autos. What are we chasing? The big rookies. Wander, Shane Baz, Bruhan, and low rookie cards all throughout, all autos. So a very nice team in the Tampa Bay Rays. If you're looking for the most autos, you got to look at the Chicago White Sox. They have a fantastic team set for Don Russ in 2022. 15 base cards, three rookie cards, five inserts, five relics, and 10 autos. What are the autos we're looking for? Luis Aprecio, uh, Tim Anderson, Gavin Sheets, Luis Robert, 
plenty of autos to choose from, fairly decent auto checklist. If you're looking for the most rookie cards, well, technically, that's the Tampa Bay Rays. But we have three other teams. I'm going to highlight the Houston Astros that do have three rookie cards in their team sets. The Houston Astros, I chose them because they've got a pretty decent team checklist overall. We've got 13 base cards, three rookie cards, six inserts, two relics, and five autos. You're looking for Jake Myers, Jose Siri, Chaz McCormick. Not the hugest autos, but a pretty decent one. Some pretty decent rookie card autos that we can get from the Houston Astros. So if you're looking for rookie cards, take a look at the Houston Astros. If you want just a solid choice, the Angels, which have kind of been one all year, they've got nine base, two rookie cards, 12 different inserts, some very big inserts. We've got three relics and six autos. The autos you're looking for, that's going to be Brandon Marsh and Reed Detmers. But then also look at those inserts. That's where you're going to find your Shohei's and your Trouts. They've both got whammies. If you can get one of those, it's a great hit. So definitely look at the Angels. They've got plenty to offer in 2022 Donruss. I'm also going to give you two sleepers. My first one, big surprise here. The Texas Rangers, who have not been a very good team to buy into team breaks in 2022 throughout all of the sets that have been released. However, here in Don Russ, we have the Texas Rangers clocking in with 10 base cards, two rookie cards, a surprisingly high number of inserts at nine, two relics and seven autos. And there's some pretty good autos. You can get Fergie Jenkins, Rafael Palmero. They have a very good insert checklist. So definitely want to check the Texas Rangers. I believe that you could probably get the Rangers for middle of the pack, maybe even lower. A great team to try and steal in a random team break. Probably could get them pretty cheap in a pick your team break, case break. And if you can get them cheap, they're going to deliver. They have plenty of cards in this set. My other sleeper, another surprise here, the Milwaukee Brewers, who also have not been very good in breaks in 2022, but they clock in with 11 base cards, only one rookie card and two inserts, but they have tons of hits. They've got 10 relics and nine different autos. You can see uh, some of our best teams, they've got more hits then even the Tampa Bay Rays and the Chicago White Sox. Tons of relics. So you're looking for Christian Yelich, Aaron Ashby autos. Again, some very nice autos there. Some of the other autos, eh. But they've also got so many relics and autos that if you're buying into a case break, you're going to get some hits. It's almost guaranteed. They've got more hits than anyone else. And I think that they'll probably be a little higher than middle of the pack just because of the number of hits. But a lot of people are going to sleep on the Brewers. Another great team to try and steal in a random team break. Try and make a trade with someone there. If you get them, keep them. Don't trade them away thinking you're going to get more from some other team. The Milwaukee Brewers, the Texas Rangers, surprisingly, surprisingly good checklists in Donruss. It was a big surprise to me. But what are all of the other teams like? Well, I'm going to give you a break cheat sheet, and this will tell you what I think is the top tier teams, teams that I don't think you'll miss on, middle tier teams, teams that if you can get them at the right price, go ahead and buy in. You may or may not hit something. And then a bottom tier, which is basically my stay away from teams for 2022 Donruss Baseball. Let's start with the top tier. We've got obviously the, a lot of these we covered off on the Tampa Bay Rays, the Angels, the Astros. You've got the White Sox with a ton of different autos. The Boston Red Sox, also a very nice team. The Yankees make it back up into the top tier. And the Brewers, which have been in the bottom tier all season long, make it to the top tier in Donruss 2022 just because of the sheer number of hits. Our second tier, some ones to call out here, Atlanta falls out of the top tier. Just not a lot that Atlanta's offering. They've got a few cards in there, but you know, the Ronald Acuna's, no autos that you're going to find there. A little bit, eh. Obviously, the Texas Rangers almost moved them up into the top tier, but the auto checklist a little weak. The Padres were missing like Tatis autos. The Marlins, kind of a sneaky good team, might want to look at them. The Diamondbacks, which have been 
at the bottom all season to sneak up into the second tier. The Diamondbacks have a few good rookie autos that you may want to chase out of there. So definitely take a look at some of those teams and the teams that I recommend staying away from. We've got eight. A lot of these, they've been there all season. The Guardians, uh, not a good collecting team in 2022. Same with the Rockies. Uh, the A's fall out of the second tier. They're not offering a lot in Don Russ. The Cubs, also not great. The Twins have been all over the place this season, but the Twins for this set, going to stay in that bottom tier. The Giants would love to have had them up in the second tier, but again, just not a lot of offerings. And when we look at the auto checklist, a lot of filler with a lot of these teams. So as you're buying into breaks, I wish you the best of luck. Let me know what teams you are buying into and you think are good in this set in the comments below. I love listening to the comments and responding to them. So go ahead and let me know what you think of the break cheat sheet. So with all of that, that's what brings us to the sensational set rating. And let me explain what that is real quick. First of all, it's the most in-depth rating system you're going to find anywhere on the internet for a baseball card set. I break the set down into 10 categories and each category is worth one to 10 points. We add up all of those points and that's what gives us our final sensational set ranking score using the scale that you see at the bottom of the screen. We then compare that score with the past set scores from 2021 and 2020. And to wrap it all up, we show you how good Donruss Baseball stacks up with all of the other sets that have been released in this baseball card collecting season. So, how does Donruss Baseball stack up? Let's go to our 10 categories. Our first category is appeal. How much do people want it? Well, it doesn't have logos, which turns a lot of people off immediately. So not a huge appeal here, but it is a flagship baseball set for Panini. It's been around forever. People know the name. People know that rated rookie logo. The whammy inserts and some of the harder to find inserts are very sought after cards. So I go ahead and give it a seven. The base set checklist for this year, I am only giving a six. We do have our early season Rookies, I like that Neil Cruz is in here, but there are some names that are missing out of the rookie set checklist. And because they don't do like an update series later on, we're just going to miss those in Donruss. For the auto checklist, this year's auto checklist is underwhelming and that's putting it fairly nicely. I gave it a four because there are some nice retired star autos and some good rookie star autos. However, some names that you would just expect to see in this checklist are not there. Juan Soto, Fernando Tatis, some of the other, like Bryce Harper. We're not finding any of those autos in this checklist. It skews heavy to the rookies, and it skews heavy to retired stars. And some of those retired stars are not Hall of Famers. So I'm being a little bit generous in giving it a four, but I do think there is some stuff there, just some filler as well. For the inserts, parallels, variations, very strong set. Some very cool inserts, very cool designs on them, very much pushing the edge of what inserts can be. Panini is very good at that. I go ahead and give it an eight. For our production run and our pack odds, production runs are up across the board. This is a retail and hobby, very affordable set. It is produced a lot, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a two. For the card quality, it is not quite as good as a, say, Top Series 1. In Top Series 1, we gave a five, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a four. The historical value, because of the lack of logos, because of a lot of sticker autos, stuff like that, the historical value of Don Russ is not that high. However, there are some inserts and some of the bigger autos, even though they are sticker autos, there are some very nice ones. So I'm going to go ahead and give historical value a four. Our cost value, here's what cost value is. That is, what is the return that you're getting on a box and how much value are you actually going to find? I went ahead and gave it a 5.5. We've got 
some very cool inserts that you can get out of here. You do get three hits, two autos, and a relic. Boxes are hovering just above 100 bucks right now, so a very affordable buy-in. You've also got a ton of different retail options, which brings that down even further, and you'll get autos and stuff out of there. I think you get a decent return from Donruss. A lot of different parallels, a lot of fun cards. Donruss, one thing to know, it is a very fun rip you will find a ton of inserts, a ton of numbered cards all throughout hobby boxes and all throughout your retail formats. So your cost value is going to be at a 5.5. For artistic value, I like this year's design. I think it's a very good design. It looks very Donruss. We have inserts that are pushing the envelope on what inserts can and should be. I go ahead and give it a seven. And then collectability. If you're not an investor, how fun is this set to collect? How fun is it to kind of rip? I give it a seven. Like I said just a second ago, it is one of the most fun rips you will do. You get a ton of parallel cards. There's something different in every pack. It's a fun set to collect. We've got prospects. We've got retired stars. There's a little something for everyone in here as a flagship set. So that's very nice. So collectability, I give it a seven. So what we're going to do, we're going to add up all of those scores and find out where 2022 Don Russ Baseball ranks on the sensational set rating. And for 2022, Don Russ comes in at a 54.5. So an average set, not a very good set, kind of middle of the road average set because of the lack of logos, because of the sticker autos, and what I feel is a fairly weak autograph line up for 2022. I don't think I would go much higher than this. But with all that being said, a very fun rip, tons of parallels, would highly recommend this set for beginner collectors. I would recommend it for younger collectors and collectors in general. The investor types probably want to steer clear of this. Not a ton of value box per box, but there are some big ones in there just going to be some better sets that you can buy into as investment sets. As a collector set, it makes a lot more sense. Now, in 2021, Don Russ Baseball ranked a little bit higher. It was a 59.5. We had a little bit of a lower production run. We had a little bit of a better auto checklist. So it, in 2021, we've regressed a little bit from that. And most surprisingly, all the way back in 2020, the set ranked as a 63. It was a very good set. So the trend on Don Russ is it's actually getting a little bit worse. A lot of that has to do with the sticker autos, and they're just not getting a lot of on-card autos. This year feels very much like they looked around and said, what autos do we have on stickers that we can put on cards, and let's put those. It feels as if they did not go very deep in trying to get autos from some of the bigger rookies, or maybe they're saving them for Donruss Optic and Panini Select, stuff like that. But for this particular set, as a flagship set, it could have had a very better auto checklist. So it's regressing a little bit. We'll see if that continues with the buyout of Fanatics and see where that all heads out. So where does Donruss rank with all of the sets that have come out so far this season? Well, it is fourth out of five. Tops Inception still leading the way with a sensational set score of 66. Don Russ with a 54.5, an average set. Series one in Tops in general, dominating, but this was the first one from Don Russ and from Panini. So we'll see where this ends up going later in the year. This should say five out of five, by the way, where it says tops opening day. That's our lowest one. I believe that you will see uh, top series one and tops in inception hang out in the top 10 for a while as more and more sets come out. But I would assume that Heritage, Don Russ, and opening day will fall out of the top 10 as more sets come out. So let me know what you think about this rating and let me know what you think about Don Russ as a whole in the comments below. If you have not done so already, throw over to first, hit that like button for me. And if you like these reviews, please subscribe to the channel. It's the best way you can support the channel and allows me to continue doing these set reviews. So with that, as you're out there in the wild, I hope you have good luck 
finding Donruss baseball on the shelves. And when you open those packs, I hope you rip some fire. And until next time, be good to your family, be good to your friends, be good to your neighbors, and most importantly, take care of yourself. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.